visually uh, observing a milestone in our range as a, as a group. And, uh, you know, visually something that symbolizes you know, half, of our, half of our deployment and the half that's, that, that's yet to, uh, that we, that's yet to uh, come our way. And um, we're embracing a, a, a Dutch tradition. This, they, they do this uh, in Dutch. We're talking about it. Uh, uh, with regards to the uniform, I don't know if the Dutch were just spoke for wacky to wacky that day or what. But, uh, but I've been thinking about what it, what it means and what it, what it uh, might, might have meant. Because Dutch is going to do a little research and position why, why we were at uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about it after we, after we saw the way that you know, I'll turn over to you. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for being here. Um, now you probably wonder what this is. In the Netherlands, there's a saying that when you're halfway with something, that the sewing man stops by. It's uh, not a real person, it's a uh, fiction. It's a saying that when you're halfway, it's uh, cut in half. You're halfway there. Um, so the sewing man stops by because your work week is uh, halfway over. Close to the weekend after that. Um, from that is a tradition grown in the Netherlands Navy that when you're halfway deployment, you sew a beam uh, in half. And that's always done by the captain and the most junior uh, sailor, Sashima Witro. Um, I don't know where it comes from that is from. I did some research, I asked some friends, and nobody actually could explain. I guess it's just one of those traditions that nobody knows where it comes from. But it's done. Uh, and uh, a lot of time and uh, ships are halfway, uh, they will report that and uh, you'll see a lot of pictures of that. So that's where it's coming from and I thought it would be nice if we maybe could put that uh, all together on board of this ship. And I'm very happy that uh, the captain and Super Patrol are uh, willing to uh, assist in that. So, so uh, what do we do now? Uh, you will sew in two, sir. Okay. For, uh, Alright, come on in. Make sure I get it out. We have all ten fingers, right? Yeah, we better inventory all the fingers. This doesn't mean like we're getting married or anything, right? Opa! Golfing in Guatemala. BNB, BNB, BNB. Maya Malaga, BNB. Drug bust. Yeah. And uh, BNB. And then uh, my ship, my ship's on half. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, so, uh, Winthrow, put that down. Do me a favor. Toss it in the sea. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's come by here. We'll kick their ass. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, anyway, so uh, 
remember that question, hey, what does the swap in the uniform mean? And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit to your your legend of the sawn man, so you can get this back to uh, back to your Dutch Navy. Yes, sir. But uh, shit, sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's been it's been about uh, over it's been about 25 years, more than 25 years since I wore this ring. Uh, quarter century, holy cow! There wasn't even a, you know what is, you know where. <laughs> All right. But, uh, but oh my goodness, it's gone by so quick. But uh, the real symbology here is uh, that I think that I can think that the Dutch captains had in the past is that in order for for him, in order for that crew to be safe and successful, that uh, each. Each individual on that crew needed to serve one another. All right, and uh, needed, uh, and I need to serve Winthrow as as much as he, in my capacity, as much as he serves serves me and the rest of the crew. So service is a, a, a uh, something that sometimes we we talk about when we serve our country, but very rarely do I hear anybody with any meaningful words. And I hope hope these words are meaningful. That. Uh, uh, serving you know your fellowship and uh, you know why have we been so successful I think we've been very very successful you know and I think is because without even having to be told each of us serve each other every day so that we can be not only safe but uh, very effective for fighting platform right here. so uh, so that's that's I think uh, it's, it's very important for each of us to to realize that we still have half of this deployment left and each and every day that we add these milestones, these great things that we're accomplishing, we're doing that because each and every one of us serve each other. You know, so, uh, so that's that's something that uh, that I, I want you to to you know remember for the next you know however many days we have on deployment, and for uh, the next you know however many days we have to we put this, this beautiful ship to, to rest. That each and every day, and, and uh, good things will happen to us because of that. The other thing that I wanted you to, to point out is that, you know, maybe, you know, 20, 27 years ago I came in the Navy, okay, and I was wearing this uniform. Okay, so one of the expectations that I've, I've told you guys that I want my legacy to be is I don't just want sailors that are in the Navy, I want sailors that are running the Navy, okay, and uh, my message to you today is that here on Kurtz, we're building champions, not chumps. And you better dream big or go home. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that if, if this little first generation American, you know, from very humble uh, beginnings, you know, on the border of, uh, of El Paso, New Mexico, you know, grew up there, right? Not, not a lot. I'm here being, being blessed with the opportunity to, to to lead America's sons and daughters at sea. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And that's uh, and that's only that can only be done in America. Okay? So remember that. Remember that that uh, either dream big or go home. Right? And here the uh, legacy that we'll leave behind is we're gonna we're gonna leave sailors that understand what it means to take care of their ship. Lessons that they, they learn from each and every one of us, or something that's going to you know, make them make them possibly. I told Winthrow, don't get too used to it. You know, you got to get your own ring. Okay, these are, these are coming back to me. All right, but uh, that that you can go from from this to this if that's what your heart desires. Okay, so uh, so dream big or go home. All right. Anybody got any questions? Are any special? Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs>